And here we are at McDonald's, the Golden Arches. Holy crap, am I that white? Jeez. Whoa, who cares? What's up, everybody? What's going on? Today, we are here at McDonald's. Glorious McDonald's, let me say. Listen up, guys. So I, I've done a lot of challenges, and guys, I'm getting I'm getting kind of bored with the usual challenge. I, I'm sure you guys just may be feeling the same way. About a year, almost a year ago, man, it's been a long time. Uh, there was something floating around on the internet called the $20 menu challenge. Now, my friend Randy Santel came up with the concept and challenged anybody to do uh, $20 worth of fast food at various different fast food establishments, and I never really got into that. It just didn't really seem substantial enough for me, and. Yeah, just never wanted to do it. So, uh, I'm not gonna, actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna be spending $20. I'm basically gonna be starting a new series, guys. The Supercharged Menu Challenge. That's my concept, man. My concept. Supercharged means a lot. I mean, it's supposed to, just go with it, guys, okay? So, everybody, this is gonna be a, a food challenge. I, I don't really think it's gonna be a food challenge, guys, just because I'm not gonna spend $60 on a bunch of food, but fast food really just doesn't fill me up. I don't think it fills anybody up. We're gonna get the entire value menu and some other delicious options that they have. I, there's actually a lot of new stuff out right now, not just at McDonald's, but other fast food places as well. So we're gonna save that for the next few weeks. You guys will just have to let me know down in the comments what you wanna see. I'm still gonna be doing restaurant challenges, don't get me wrong. I just wanna kinda do this once a week just to switch things up. So I hope you guys are very excited, cause I am. And these videos are just gonna be really straightforward, you know, without the, all the gym footage and yeah, just shots of me doing random stuff. I figured I'd just get right to the point. And in case you are wondering, I did just go deadlift and that's why I have a tank top on. I'm trying to show off my uh, lack of muscles. Anyways guys, let's go get some food. Hello? You there? Hello? Order when you're ready. Okay, um, how much is it for just the entire value menu? Uh, sorry, one more time. So the entire value menu, can I just do that please? You want the entire value menu? Yeah, that's the, that's the Big Mac, two cheeseburgers, quarter pounder, double quarter pounder, buttermilk crispy, artisan chicken, and 10 piece chicken McNuggets and filet fish, right? Yeah. And uh, medium fries please. And um, I'm gonna try your uh, your signature sriracha burger, please. How is that? Is that good? Okay. And that'll do it. And a medium fries for 33.55. Thank you very much. 33.15. Not terrible. How's it going, man? So, uh, can you go or hunt and park in the first spot and you right out? Sure can. Can, you, uh, can I get a water too? Thanks, man. There you go. I forgot that with things like this, with orders like this, you gotta go wait. I hate waiting so much. Just updating the Snapchat crew. If you guys haven't yet, go follow me. Come on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. A lot of fucking food. <laughs> oh man, the shit I do for YouTube, man. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Holy crap, I can't, I can't deal with this. I have to figure out this shirt situation. This is just not working. I hope I have another shirt here. I think I'm in luck. I think I'm in luck. Hold on, this is. Let me just fix this one second. All right, much better. <laughs> Don't you guys just love how I have the magic tricks like that? Anyways, everybody, so here we are. I mean, we have an entire value. I, this is a big bag, let me just say. This bag weighs like 10 pounds. Not that heavy, but it's pretty heavy. And then we have some fries right here, guys. I just wanted to do something different. We have sauce, we have a lot of full well, barbecue and tangy, with tangy barbecue and ranch. Um, guys, let's just, let's get this started. Now, if you guys like the way this is and you want to see me do videos like this, let me know down in the comments below because who doesn't like fast food? You know, you guys, I have a lot of international subscribers again. I know a lot of you don't get to have food like this. I know you probably have McDonald's in your country, but not a lot of options uh, like we do here in the States. So I got some new things that aren't on the value menu that I want to show you guys. So. Without further ado, let's eat some McDonald's. And we are starting off with the classic, the Big Mac. Because how could you go wrong, right? Yeah, I know I'm right.
One more. <laughs> that Big Mac though. Oof. Uh, before I really kind of get into all this food, guys, I want to let you guys know that I did not calculate the calories before I went in. I just wanted to get the entire value menu. I'm starting off slow. I mean, I just did a gigantic buffet challenge this weekend, so calories probably aren't the highest, at least high as they have been in the past, but guys, I just might increase them as I continue to do these, so you gotta let me know how again you like all this. We have sauce. I still don't even know what like the Big Mac sauce actually is. It sounds like it's, or it looks like it's kind of like the animal style sauce from In-N-Out, but oh, I forgot to take the pickles off this damn burger. Yeah, dude, that's, that is a must. Uh, but yeah, guys, I the Mac sauce is really quite delicious and I'm not a fan of the animal style sauce at In-N-Out, so that's kind of saying something. No! Damn it. Don't worry, everything's in boxes. They're fine. They better be fine. There's some important shit right now, okay? Now the next item. Never go into one of these things when you're not hydrated enough. And they don't give you a substantial drink. I mean, I understand it's free water and everything. What is next? Oh, guys, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know that I'm not a fan of spicy things. I really despise spicy things, actually. And sriracha is definitely not my favorite condiment ever because it's spicy. But I saw this pop up actually on my Instagram feed and I got very, very curious. Um, there's a sriracha, what do they call this? The sriracha, the sriracha artisan burger. I don't know guys, it looked interesting and honestly, just the marketing behind this is what got me to get this sandwich, so why not try it out? And there she is, the Sriracha Artisan Burger from McDonald's now. What does this have on it? I think we have uh, grilled onions or, or crispy onions and a lot of cheese. So that is what we're working with right there. I'm probably ruining McDonald's for you guys right now, so I should probably not do that. But yeah, how can you guys go wrong with cheese? So. I mean, hopefully this Raj isn't gonna kill me here. Let's try it out. Wow. I don't taste any sriracha at all. That's actually really scary. I like that. And that is the inside look right there. <sighs> okay. Now I taste the sriracha. Oh my gosh. Guys, I... <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just, I'm embarrassing myself right now, but I don't care. Oh my gosh. Whew. Apart from the fact that the straw is starting to hit me and this chicken is almost like rubber, I really like what they did with the crispy onions on, on this burger. I mean, fast food burgers are fast food burgers, guys, but that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. The sriracha is so strong. Oh my goodness. Still wondering how many calories is in what I got. There's a lot of cheese in this, that's what I know. Put mayo on this too? It's literally like they put mayonnaise in this. On this, I should say. Let me say right now that I'm starting to get this rush right now. On a scale on a scale of one to ten, for how spicy that is, I would rate it a six. Uh, I've certainly had a lot spicier in my day. Alright, now what's next? What am I doing, man? We have French fries. Who doesn't like McDonald's French fries? Come on. And then of course you guys know me. I'm a connoisseur of ranch dressing. There's just something about fries and ranch. I don't know what it is. <sighs> I thought I said sweet and sour in the drive-thru, but apparently I said barbecue because this is tangy barbecue. I don't think I've actually ever dipped fries in barbecue sauce before, so let's see how this is. Nope, shouldn't work at all. That's actually disgusting. All right, well the fries are done. 
I got a lot more food to go. Whoops! All right. This is like stacked tall with stuff. Um, it's just a cheeseburger. A sad little cheeseburger. <laughs> a sad little cheeseburger. Um, oh, it's so cute. Oh, why do they do this? I never understand. I think McDonald's is like the only place. I'm probably ruining McDonald's with, for all you guys right now. But like their onions are... They're so like, like who puts diced onions on a burger? I've always had like, I don't know why I did not take that pickle off, but but yeah, I never could understand why they do their onions like that. I don't know. Boom. Boom! I need to stop saying boom. Um. Yeah, guys, nothing special about this. It's just a cheeseburger. I actually am really curious to see if the presentation held up in the box. I think, are, are, if you're the same way, let me know down in the comments below. When you get a box like this at a fast food place, you like you expect it to come out looking exactly like the picture, or it's actually the opposite of what the picture looks like. Tell me what you think down below. I'm, I'm just that guy that always expects it to be the exact opposite, but, you know, here we go. <sighs> kind of look like the picture. That's a pretty sad quarter pounder with cheese, but... It's even less sad now that we're taking off the pickles. Goodbye, pickles. Goodbye, goodbye. Much, much better. And that is the quarter pounder with cheese. And I actually like the fact that there's cheese on the bottom for what it seems like. Yep, cheese on the bottom. And there's cheese on the top as well, so you're getting cheese from all angles. Because America, that's why. Honestly, guys, you can't go wrong with the. I think I've said you can't go wrong with a thousand times. Oh, Eric, get new lines. Get new lines, dude. Get new things to say. I'll get okay with that. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. It's delicious. I mean, as long as there's not mustard on a cheeseburger, I'm gonna probably like it. It's just the truth. Mustard, it sucks. And then here we have the double quarter pounder with cheese. Well, hello there. That's uh, pretty promising. Alrighty, we can fix this now. We can surely fix this problem that we have, as I just demonstrated with the last quarter pounder. You guys are probably wondering why I will eat onions, oh, shit, and not pickles. But it's just a personal preference, guys. You have personal preferences when it comes down to food, and that's one of them. Now that it's cleaned up, that does not look like the picture at all. What do you guys think? This is the double quarter pounder that I got. That is what the picture says it's supposed to look like. Hmm. What do you guys think? I'll let you be the judge. Cheers. Another thing I also need to stop saying, but I can't think of anything else. The inside look right there. Um. I don't even think it's worth even offering up inside because I just ate a quarter pounder. This is just two quarter pounders, basically. I should have just actually just put the quarter pounder I just ate like on top of this. That would have looked really, really epic, but oh well. Idea. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And now this is the ranch quarter pounder with cheese. Don't you like my creativity? I do. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I think I have some ranch on my face. Whoops. What's next, what's next? For my big bag of fun, this. The buttermilk chicken burger. Oh shit, I just remembered. This is <laughs> this is actually what I ate for the 60,000 calorie challenge, the big smokes challenge that I did. Oh, that's so interesting, guys. Oh, there we go. Uh, I was going to say there's no buttermilk ranch at all anywhere. That's kind of just what I think about when I think of this sandwich. So that's a problem for me. Let's solve another problem. Solving problems for days. There we go. Problem solved. 
Okay, I guess not solved because that was a very terrible first bite. Hold on. Um, I like this sandwich a lot. I actually wouldn't mind this being a little spicy, dare I say it. Patty on this is kind of just like meh, but I think they put mayo on this or something like that. It's just the favorite part of this for me is the bun. The bun is like, it's almost like my buttery Jack that I love to get at Jack in the Box. So that actually might be for next week. What do you guys think? Should I go to Jack in the Box next week? I know I've asked you like a thousand questions in this video already, but just let me know because I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Boom. Bam! Boom! The chicken is nice and tender though. I mean, it should be, but then again, this is fast food, so I don't know. Now for the final uh, item, my favorite. The filet of fish that's it guys, my favorite thing, or one of my favorite things is the filet of fish at McDonald's. And here we go guys, let's get our filet of fish on. I mean it's warm, it's flaky, it's buttery, it's delicious. I hate tartar sauce, but oh well, <sighs> this has a special place in my heart. And it's safe to say they kind of overdid it on the tartar sauce here, but who cares? It's delicious. What a good item to end on. I mean, it couldn't have been any better. Alrighty, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my first menu challenge. Actually, I've never done a menu challenge before, so that was actually, um, I'm actually pretty substantially full. Not really, though. Let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys like me going around and filming a bunch of fast food stuff, because, again, I know you guys don't have it in your country if you're watching abroad. Do me a favor, though. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments below. Of course, hit the thumbs up button. Check me out on Patreon, guys. It's a great way for you guys to support us YouTube creators that take time out of the day to make videos like this, and especially after the setback that happened to me a few weeks ago, it will really help support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Check me out on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Go right ahead.